Dylan, 50 points for the offense today, 30 point win. Just oh. how'd you feel about the way the offense played overall today? Uh, I just, I love how it all started, you know, with the, the defense setting the tone and, you know, the pick six, you know, getting everyone going. And then, uh, man, you just couldn't write it up better with, you know, the putting the points on the board and then, of course, you know, a night game in, in the Palace. So. Did things feel maybe particularly smooth just in the passing game? Seems like I mean, you were finding a bunch of different receivers, guys were making plays. Or maybe how did it feel? I think it's something we go back to with is rhythm and creating completions and making competitive plays and moving the chains. I feel like as we get into that rhythm, uh, we're able to obviously play a bunch of different guys and then uh, kind of just spread the ball around. So. Depot was coming tonight. That's not something that Iowa State defense has given up much over the past five years. What did you see? What was able to go into that? I mean, schematically, they, they cause a lot of problems, and uh, they're very uh, great at what they do. Um, and I think we just, you know, in, in a game like this, you got to make competitive plays, and you you got to, you know, take your shots when you have those opportunities. So uh, I'm glad we did. I'm glad we, you know, took advantage of those. Um, Shots and then, you know, make plays down the red zone. So, Dylan, with the deep balls, were there things you worked on from last season to this one in terms of mechanics, or is it really all just part of the confidence and, and all the things working for you guys? Right? Confidence in the scheme, uh, year two with a bunch of the guys that you know I've played with, and then um, it's it's a pitch and catch. You know, it's a, a mixture. It's a dance between two people, and not a, a one man show. So I think. Being able to, you know, build that continuity is, is huge for um, our pass game. Dylan, you're making a run to the end zone, and I believe the word was trucked. Uh, whenever you got in there, you yeah. kind of got low a little bit on the linebacker, yeah. got to the end zone. Just yeah. kind of talk about the feeling of maybe getting over on one of the guys that usually get you. Yeah, my, my dad's a basketball coach, and, uh, you know, growing up, you know, we always loved calling for an and one, and I just, I believe that one was a was an and one. And, um, just find a way to get in the end zone. It's it's a good deal. So, you seem to be playing with a lot of swagger, confidence. Do you feel like that's growing each week? I mean, even in in your answers in the media sessions, yep. you seem more confident. Yeah, as we all know, uh, you know when things are good and going good, it's it's easy to be good. And you know we've we've seen the road of, of both sides. At least I have in my journey. And I think you gotta you know take it. You know, take this journey as, as long as you can go and continue to have fun with it. And um, I think, you know, towards the end of the year last year, just I think it was a big thing uh, in my head is continue to have fun with this game. You know, although it was a rocky road and, you know, kind of going back to when you're that little kid and just enjoying every second of it. Um, I think I had lost it for a little bit, but, you know, when I flipped that switch and just started having fun, it just allowed me to play free, have fun, play fast. And then, Play with a free mind. I think that's something that also kind of goes along with this with this whole journey. So that's something I'll continue to do. Um, kind of put that at the forefront of, of you know my off season going into this year. So having fun's a, a big part of, of doing it. So what did that flip switch of kind of playing free and was it sort of something after last season or was it something that a mentality change going into this season? I think it was a mixture. You know. Talk about a roller coaster. It was, um, but you just learn a lot about yourself, your team, the people around you, um, and I think, you know, naturally, I don't, I couldn't give you exact date, but there's a time where it flipped, and I just started playing free and, and going into off season. It was something that, you know, pushing one another, because of, of, you know, the big off season we needed to have, but then also having fun with it. You know, embracing the the third and shorts, embracing that fourth and short and wanting to go get it, embracing situations that people may not, you know, want to be in. And, and it's inevitable to be in those certain positions. So embracing it, having fun with it, and um, making it something that you want to pride yourself on. So, What do you remember about last year's OU Texas game and not being able to be a part of it? Um, I don't remember a lot. No, I'm playing. But <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, – just being sidelined, you know, uh, being off the field, uh, it's just not fun. You know, I play the game because I love it. It's it's something I'm passionate about. Um, and you work so hard with a group of guys and not being able to be on the field with them um, just, you know, didn't feel the best. But um, I think uh, you just you learn a lot from those moments as well. 
um, as a player and then as a group. How long have you maybe thought about that game and how much are you, I guess, looking forward to getting to actually playing it this year? Exciting. I think it's an atmosphere and environment you live, you know, you live for and you dream of. You know, when you're a little kid, you don't necessarily dream of playing in, you know, the backyard, but you're picturing a huge crowd and that atmosphere, the, the passion. Um, just all of it. It's something that you, you want to play in, you dream of playing in. So. Dylan, where did you watch the game last year? Were you on the sideline? I was. Okay. So the first half I was I was on the sideline, and then the second half I went in the box. So. You warmed up that game before. I mean, everybody kind of, hey, they're going to play. Yeah. The party you said, maybe I could play. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll never know, right? <laughs> but uh, um, I think it was just part of the protocol and get my body ready. Couldn't tell you fully why, but just, you know, getting your body ready to go through the process of getting ready for a game again and stuff like that through that whole protocol. So, If you got a taste, at least, of the atmosphere, can you can you tell us whether you've quarterbacked in a setting like that before? I mean, as you, as you look ahead to actually being on the field next Saturday. I think only a few people have quarterbacked in, you know, environments like that. And um, it's special. You know, it's a, a special atmosphere. It's two fat, passionate fan bases, you know, wanting to, you know, you know, create an atmosphere for a, a great game. So um, I definitely was able to see it from a, a distance, but being able to be on that field is definitely different. You're, you're, talk, you sure, you're talking to a lot about your mindset and how things are, are different for you now mm -hmm. compared to last year. How, how important is that going to be for you to rely on in a setting like that next week? I think it's just what the off season was all about. Um, and, you know, Smitty does a great job of that, you know, kind of pushing you to a limit that you never thought you had and kind of exceeding that within, you know, a week or so. And um, I think that just is a testament to who we want to be and what we want to do. But I, I do definitely go back to the off season and that training definitely I'm, built us. How much of this is, is just knowing what it is to play at a place like Brooklyn Hall? I mean, it's a fishbowl, especially with a quarterback. Yeah. And just understanding what it's like this your second compared to your first. Year. That's why you come here, you know. Like that's, I think like that's what you want. That's what you want to want to be in. And I know I'm the type of guy. I, I love this place, and it's football. It's the it's one of the most passionate fan bases and passionate places about this program, and it's something that. I think I had a clue about, but once I got into it, it really opened my eyes to, you know, how great this place is. So. Is that something that took you time to truly embrace that, like figure out how to embrace it as you're going through the trials of last year? Um, not how to embrace it, but more so you don't really know until you're in it. You know, I think a lot of people have a, a perspective, you know, right or wrong, just from a distance, but once you're in it, once you're you know, submerged in it, you're, it's different, you know, and um, I go back to my decision, my decision to come here is what I wanted, it's what you want to be a part of, and um, you want to be pushed to a level that you never thought you could be, be at, so I love it. You mentioned your own journey, where do you feel like this team is right now in their journey this season? Taking it a week at a time, you know, being present, not taking anything for granted. Um, I think that's that's huge in, in building on what type, type of team we want to be. Take it a week at a time. How quick after this one was down to Texas? Probably after this media, you know, just flipping the page and, you know, not just like any other, you know, week, flipping the page, seeing how you can get better and then preparing for the next opponent, you know, just not getting bored with the process, loving it, being being all in. It's, it's a wild process, but just loving every second of it, you know. Looking back at tonight, what was your reaction to Jaden Gibson's catch and run and touchdown that he had? Love it for him. He's a, I just, I love the type of kid he is. You know, we're, we're close friends. And uh, I just love his text, you know, whether it's before a game, after a game, throughout the week. You can just tell how much he loves ball and how passionate he is about it. and how much he loves his teammates. So I, I can appreciate, you know, his energy.